Did Balin from The Hobbit have a son? If you know your law right, you would probably answer no. But in Tolkien's early writing, Balin did actually have a son. So today on Council of the Rings, we'll talk about the son of Balin. As Tolkien was writing The Lord of the Rings, he did change and improve certain chapters, as we can read in details in The Return of the Shadow, among other books. But in this specific book, we are actually introduced to Balin's son in the chapter in the House of Elrond. Like in The Lord of the Rings, Glowin would travel to Rivendell to seek news about Balin and his expedition to Moria. But in this version, a young dwarf would travel with him, Burin, son of Balin, and right next to Burin sat an elf from Eastern Workwood. In this version the elf is unnamed, but he would later be given the name Legolas, and become the son of Thranduil, the elven king from The Hobbit. It was first later that Frodo discovered that Burin was in fact the son of Balin. If we take a look at the name Burin, it becomes clear how well it fits the character. Like most of the dwarf names from Tolkien's works, this name is from Norse mythology, the Dvergatal, to be specific. The names mean sun-like, so a fitting name if you ask me. But this name wasn't actually the first name Tolkien picked. At first the character was named Fra, a name Tolkien later would use for one of the members of Balin's expedition. Burin would join the Fellowship of the Ring instead of Gimli that was first invented later. And just for the fun of it, let's list who was meant to be part of this version of the Fellowship. Frodo would volunteer to take the ring. Gandalf, Trotter, Sam, Odo, Falco, Merry, Glorfindel, and Burin, the son of Balin. However, Tolkien abandoned the name and instead created Gimli to take his place, the son of Glowin. But Tolkien would not let go of the name Burin just yet. As the Fellowship journeyed through Moria, they would come to the chamber of Mazabul and see the tomb of Balin. On top of it, it would say Balin, son of Burin, Lord of Moria. But as most of you know, Tolkien scrapped his name in favor of Fundin, and that is why Burin leaves the story. But I would actually say you can find traces of this in the text. When I read through The Lord of the Rings, I found it a little odd that Gimli only seems to care about what happened to Balin, but Gimli doesn't ask what happened to Oin, despite the fact he's his uncle. Sure, we could interpret this and say that maybe they had a bad relationship with each other. But to me, Gimli's interest in Balin points to the fact that he was at one point Burin, son of Balin. But what do you guys think? Did you know about Balin's son? Or is this all new to you? Leave a comment and let me know. Special thanks to all the patrons and members of the channel. You make this channel possible. As always, thank you all for watching and being part of the Council of the Rings. Check out this video next and farewell till next time.